Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Uh, we left off last episode having been assaulted by Ming, and what they did was they took five provinces, which wasn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, what was really unfortunate was that they forced Lana to abandon, or we forced us to abandon Lana, uh, which means that we can't do anything to them for a while. They're, they were a very, very loyal loyal march i really enjoyed their presence uh you know you know their presence in my sphere of influence but those days are gone they are they hate our guts right they rivaled me uh allied to my rival they have claims the, our, their overlord abandoned them border friction they want for my provinces there's a lot of reasons that we don't like each other uh, right now, what I'm doing, though, is desperately trying to catch up on tech, which is not going too well, considering my power point gain is pretty low. Uh, well, it's not too bad, but it's been better. So we're at 767, which is not super good. Right, at least Iotai is by themselves. If we fight them, it's just them. Uh, it looks like... This is the first four. This is the first and, like, only fort we're going to have to assault, so... Um, dogpile on them here. Oh, that's their capital, too, isn't it? Dogpile on them there, and, uh, take down their capital, and then we'll be fine. Yeah, you sons of bitches. Now you got rebels to deal with. We've been working, uh, pretty, pretty hard on increasing... Oh, thank, thank God. Our, um... What's it called? Uh, blah, 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 attack. Tech, 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 that's what we're trying to do. Uh, I don't, I definitely didn't want to attack anybody until I got military tech level 10. And I'm thinking I don't want to do it until I get level 11 as well. And I mean, we are flying on speed 3 to 4 through, or 3 to 5 basically, through uh, big portions of uh, like early mid game now. So I'm, I'm thinking that this achievement's going to be harder than I initially anticipated. Stand up for the nobility. Uh, disloyal estates in the country. Let's see. Ah, pff, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Now we're about to be able to tech up our... ...ideas, which is good. Uh, what I could do if I wanted is start seeding colonies in the region. That's doable. Unhappiness amongst artisans. Oh, shit. There goes all my money. So we're going to get a new... A new idea group soon, which is nice. Uh, very soon. And I don't know where I want to go with it. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. Normally what I do is I just wait till it hits and then I take a good long look. Talk it out. Well... Not if I'm playing by myself. If I'm if I'm playing myself, I just think about it. Trust me, I don't just sit here talking to my computer if I'm not recording. Or do I? Military level eleven to twelve uh, is not something that I'm I'm really prepared to deal with on equal unequal terms. Like I take out, I, I would go with I would go for Lana because we have so much, so many more men than them, but like. Bengal over here, they have, a, like, roughly equal amounts of men. Similar, at least. Alright, so, let's give the game a pause. See what, so we went Diplo and we went Military. If we want, we can go Admin. That's, that's definitely something we could do. So. Expansion would give us a Colonist and a Merchant. State maintenance, nice. Economic, national tax modifier, build cost, uh, yearly inflation reduction, interest per annum, monthly autonomy change, land maintenance modifier, production efficiency and development cost. I'm thinking not religious, not humanist. Innovative. Hmm. Because we've been going pretty strong on our... Well, we could also do exploration. Hmm. 
Hmm. We can start seeding colonies. We can't afford... That's the thing. We can afford it. We can afford to seed colonies. An exploration would give me two colonists. Colonists, quest for the new large recruitment of explorers and conquistadors, colonial range, global settler increase, global tariffs, colonists, naval force limit modifier, permanent CB. Expansion would give me a colonist, a merchant, global settler increase, recruitment time, blah, uh, diplo relations, shipbuilding time, global trade power, and state maintenance. Ming, you sons of bitches. Boy, the Ming scares the bejesus out of me. Do we want to go... Do we want two colonists? I can't go military idea because I need those points. Hmm. What do we... Well, let's take... Hang on, let's take a look at our tech real quick. Uh, so these are even. It's all even across the board. So, we can pick anyone in terms of where our points are going to go. <sighs> I seriously don't know. Let's say I'm looking at exploration, expansion, and economic is the ones I'm looking at. I'm really tempted to do exploration. I mean, there's all this land to, I could colonize. So let, let's do it. Let's do exploration. Let's take it. And we'll, that'll get us a colonist real soon. And I think what we'll do is we'll go down here. We'll go right down here. And then we're going we're gonna to have to set a... Um, yeah, how, do, how you deal with... What's it called? Natives. And we're gonna have to have troops down there, too. It might be a little too late. It might be a little late in the game to be doing that. We could have done it earlier, but... Oh, there's an island right here, too. We'll take that if we want. There's some very aggressive natives down there. I mean, it would it would allow me to start gaining a power base without directly going to war with someone. Are these are these not actual islands? No, they are. There we go. They are. You can take those. Oh, those are nice. All oh, that's nice. All that stuff's nice down in there. Yeah, we're gonna go down there. It might piss off Malacca. But they already kind of spat in my eye now, didn't they? You now what we're going to need is uh, some cogs. What's my naval force limit at the moment? I can build four cogs. Or flutes. There we go. You need to choose a native policy. Okay, so. Native repression policies will treat the natives ruthless, ruthlessly. So increase the frequency of their raids, but also allow our colony to grow faster. This, uh, we will trade with the natives and profit from it. Native uprising chance, native assimilation. Uh, we are doing a live and let live attitude towards natives. This will increase the chance of assimilate, assimilating them into our colonies. I think we'll just do repression. And make it my own, because I, I, I thought that if you did repression, it turned into your religion. So we're going to do that. Because I'm going to, you know, a lot of people tend to do coexistence because then they'll never up, uh, rise up and you won't have to deal with, um, let's see, 10. That's the one we're going to want right there. Oh, that's an 11. 
That's a 13. Right there. That's where we're going first. That is where we're going first, definitely. Alright, so we're gonna need... what? We, oh, they want that. Yeah. Can we bring in more people? We can. Let's just go like, one, two, three. And then we'll use these three as a, a garrison. And hopefully that'll be enough. What was that last uh, military tech cost? Good. Good. That, uh, that's, that's a permanent thing, so. Mercantilism? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take that. Production flawed. Um, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we gotta wait for those ships to build before we can get these guys down here. Insults me. Oh, nice. Who didn't? Who'd insulted me? Uh, oh, you know, Carmen Prestige. We'll take that. Military. Yay! Finally. Next one is banner infantry, military tactics, and supply limit. That's a lot of good stuff right there. Oh wow, I didn't actually expect that so so quickly. So you guys march over here, or where are those ships? Uh, they're still two months out. So hopefully nothing happens over there before I could get the the troops, because we're just repressing the shit out of those natives. Oh, there it is. Well, that colony's dead. Didn't. <laughs> Was hoping that that wouldn't go that way. All right. Well. Oh well. Yeah. That's. I think they're gonna destroy the whole colony. Yep. Let's send him back out. Well, that was a shame. I was really hoping that we would be able to uh, get the troops over there before they rose up, but no such luck. Yes, move over there, please. What we're gonna need to do is try to get, like, colonies set up in America. Well, that was a shame, because we got the, the 100 population, and then they immediately got killed. They were immediately set upon and destroyed. Alright, we don't need those anymore. Okay, so we now we got equal we got equal terms. They're allied. Oh shit! Damn it! That means these guys these guys are allied. We would have to rely on our allies, which I don't know if I see that happening. Alrighty. Do they owe us any favors? I mean, we have been sitting on uh, on our alliance for a long time now, yeah. So we could force them into a war. Hmm. At least we got money. We're at our force limit, so that means no more building. We have to go to construction. Can't build a manufactory. Can build a couple more shipyards if we wanted. Get three more shipyards up. There's a couple places that would be decent military camps. There. And there. And why don't we do two more shipyards. Like that. What does military level 12 get us? The banner infantry, the tactics, and the supply limit. Okay. So at least we're catching up on tech finally. We're not that far behind. 
And we got a nice little pretty colony going. Growth of 40 per year, that's pretty good. Tropical minus 10, no adjacent control. Oh, okay, I forgot about that. Oh no, we should be fine here. Oh wait, never mind. God damn it, my military maintenance slider's down. Shiza. All right, get back over there. Defend your colony. Now I've got the, now I've got the minuses, and they rolled nines. Hey, we won! I'm a little surprised. We need more troops over here. If we if we want this colony to survive, we need more troops over here. That was that was close. Ah, oh, truce with Ming ended. That's a little scary. I forgot that our our military maintenance slider was down. And our military tech isn't that is it gonna be that much higher than natives at this point. Wonder how long this is gonna take. Excellent minister. Ooh. That's a positive. Plus one stability, 25 prestige, 40 admin power, tradition, tradition, and a hundred military power. We are trying to get that military power, uh, that military tech. But this is actually worth more points. Because the stability point is worth 103. Enforce our heritage, missionary strength, tolerance of heathens. Yeah, we'll take that. Th Thalang, I think that's this one. No, it's not. Is it down here? That's that one. So we can kind of start converting them, ish. Seven, six, seven. It kills me that we're we're trying to get military power so desperately, and we're just low on everything else. Man, it's just that military tech twelve is 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 brutal to try to fight against. And now they're up to thirteen. Regimental pride, maintenance modifier down. So we got we got a, a nice little population brewing here. Uh, what is the next idea going to do for us? That's going to be quest for the new world. So that that allows us to go out and find the new world. Uh, that'll give us colonial range, global settler increase, global tariffs, that extra colonist force limit modifier, and permanent CB. So, let's say, in theory, we declared war. Lana would join in. That Viet would join in. They would refuse the call to arms. Attitude towards enemies. Well, that's only 5,000 men. At least these 9,000 would join in. I just, I really want that military level 12 now. Border dispute. Ugh. <laughs> Brunei. What, what level are they? 12? Wow. Well, you know, we're all we're all basically the same tech group, right? Ten, ten, twelve. Yeah, it's all Chinese tech group. So we're all the we're all the damn same tech group over here. I feel like that could be that's that's rife room for improvement. That everything over here is the Chinese tech group? Maybe a future DLC. I don't think we need more troops as long as the slider's up. Alright, Diplo. Better relations over time. Diplomatic reputation. Spy network. Well, we, we do need this. 
Man, it's gonna really it's gonna really hit our economy, but we'll take Colonial Range we don't need. Diplomatic reputation. Take diplomatic reputation. Well, that's the only two that's in there. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely gonna take that one. And that'll get this up. Is it 400 points? It's 400 points. That'll allow us to start exploring. I mean, I, c I might be able to even drop a colony in Africa. That might be too far away, though. But I could at least start exploring. I could definitely gobble up all of this without too much trouble, I don't think. Oh, maybe Taiwan? It's a, it's a, what was that, a 10, a 7, a 5? 10, 7, and 5, that's not too bad over there, but this one's fucking 13. 40 per year, and a 19% chance to attracting, uh, chance to attract extra settlers. So, this is actually, these are actually gonna go pretty quickly, I think. Well, compared to, uh, other gameplays I've done with colonists in them. And it is going to be my religion, good. Possible trade goods, spices, tropical wood, ivory, naval supplies, tea, china ware, coffee, fish, grain. This is in Malacca, right? It is in Malacca. Good. It'll start producing high quality goods at decent, you know, at a decent clip because it's a high development, well, high-ish development province in a trade node where I'm trying to capitalize on my power. What is my... Well, naval tradition's pretty good. Army tradition's pretty good, too. Regilis, ooh, ooh. Just, why, why do I keep getting paused? I'm, you know what? I feel like, I, I don't feel like random events are random. When I was rampaging across the, the region and winning war after war after war, it was, I was getting the negative events piled on me. I got slapped by Ming, and the game's like, okay, Ben, we, we were being mean. What is this? Uh, naval, uh, well, good produced and colonial range, a hundred. That might, I might need that to get to America. All right, let's grab this. That's legitimacy. So we can go exploring now. We can go exploring. taking a quick peek around everything. I mean, we're spending a lot of money on advisors. We got, we got a two, a two, and a one. So we're buying five points per month. Gain karma, national unrest. Stability cost modified. We're not going to buy... Okay, we'll take the unrest because we're not going to buy stability points right now. Our power points are too precious. We've got too many things to do with them. Good. Spices. That was the best, because spices are worth a ton. So you've got trade goods in here? Trade goods. Yeah, spicy. It's all spicy up in here. This whole island right down here would be good to take. All of this is, you know, really high. There's even a gold mine over there. Really um, high quality goods in this region. And that that's going to get me my first, well, not my first, but my biggest provincial trade power, because this one's Three. This one's 3.6. That's got to be a lot more than that, I think. Native Uprising. Now we're, now we should be fine. Because we have morale. Yeah, we're fine. Good. Lost 500 men. No big deal. And it kind of kills me to sit here playing on a high speed just waiting on things, but... I mean, that's what I got to do right now to survive. I can't fight... Uh, level 13 techs with level 11. I could do 12. I could do 12 on 12 against these guys with Dot Viet on my Dia Viet, uh, Die Viet on my side. God, one of these days I'll get it right. Spending a lot of money on my my military here. All right, we can bring in another thousand men if we wanted. We can bring in three more ships. Three more ships. Um, why don't we mothball these so we're not paying for them? No, no, I changed my mind. Um, levy tax. Yeah, we're going to take the money. Let's bring in 1,000 more men. Good. 
I'm gonna bring in another thousand men there. Wait, didn't did, did I do that wrong? Um There we go. No, I don't think I did, but whatever, it doesn't make any difference. What I'm going to do is put down Oh, oh there we go. I'm going to put another 1000 men down here and then lower the slider. That'll save us money. Not not as low as it was before, but we can lower it. Three more trade ships. Or light ships, I mean. Merge. And then we're going to get these guys protecting trade. Yeah. When I hit... I'll, I'll be co uh, comfortable attacking Ayutthaya when Ayutthaya... I, Ayutthaya? I, Ayutthaya. What does, it, what does it matter? Um... Once I'm military tech level 12, because what I would immediately need to do is dogpile on... Well, actually, no. Yeah, dogpile on these guys, um, which would be rough because they have uh, the jungle, and take them out. And then I could then I would worry about these guys. And we do have di uh, Diviet on our side. They will join us. Uh, I might be able to make a vassal. No, I, I think they're too big to make them a vassal, but we'll, we'll see. Just have you guys hang out there. Now we can save ourselves some money but by lowering this a little bit. Not not as much as it was before, but a little bit. We got 700 colonists here already. I feel pretty pretty good about that. What we're going to do is just sweep down here. Maybe end up going We could take all of Brunei probably in one war. They waited until we lowered our maintenance slider to attack. That's fine. That's okay. Not a big deal. Oh, huh, nice. We just got military, another military tech uh, buff. And we are almost there. Gain karma and prestige. Where does my karma stand? It's at negative five. Get that prestige back, yeah. Look how close we are. Colonial company founded. 200 settlers in Katapang. So we can jumpstart another one. Or... We can direct them here. Let's jumpstart another one because this one's almost done. And if there's an uprising, we could we can quickly move. Um, but now that we're if we would have to move, we would have to cross a river. So let's let's get that slider up. And then as soon as this one's done, we can move it. We can move him here. And and we'll get that going. We well, has an adjacent one now. Thank you. That actually probably would have helped here too. Yeah, because now there's an adjacent one, so this one will go faster too. Good idea. If there's an uprising, we'll he'll service both. Oh, what's well, six, five, nine, eleven. Okay, so we're just gonna crawl across. It's taken a lot of years to really recover from the hole we dug ourselves into. It is a shame to have fought, spent so much time and effort fought, fighting up here for Ming to have taken it from us without a fight. But that's just the way everything goes, especially with Ming there. With Ming being a, the, the the giant threat up in the north. All right, so the next one is artillery, artillery. Okay, that would, the next one. All right, twelve to ten is not the, or twelve to thirteen is not that big of a deal. Uh, next one is colonial range. Oh, that one's gonna be big. Um, so let's go to our infantry real quick. So there, there we go. And we're going to leave this right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Europa Universalis, for just subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next time.